Alright dudes, how's it going? And welcome to How To Successfully Fail, another Metroid 2 remake. I'd recently finished the original on the Game Boy, liked it that much, couldn't fucking refrain from giving this a look, played it for 5 or 10 minutes, sold. Fucking sold. So here we are. Right, let's get in there. New gameplay, sir. Ooh. Difficulty select right out of the fucking gate. I only did a test run on normal, but now that I'm here... I think I fancy sticking on hard, you know. I think I do, I think I'm gonna. I think it's done. Bit of hard mode Metroid. Let's fucking do it. Metroids. Numerous incidents in the past have brought to light the highly destructive power of these life forms, spreading fear across all known planetary systems. Let's have a bit of story at the beginning. Oh, the tune! Hoping to secure peace in the galaxy, the Galactic Federation orders the extermination of the Metroid species. See, I thought Samus just took this on herself. I didn't know about this story. I was the best candidate for the job. Oh, she's speaking in first person as well, fair enough. Once again, I find myself standing alone against the Metroid menace. It's only the second time, Samus. Calm down. What horrors await me within the depths of their homeworld? I'm sure there's greater horrors later on. That's how you start a game. Any game with the Metroid tune. So it's fucking done. So fucking good. Look at that! That's fucking nice shit, man. It look it's like Metroid 2, but with Metroid Fusion and Zero Missions graphics and stuff, including some of the improvements. First off, the map. Very fucking- well, there's not much there now, but you know, give it time. Map's fucking nice. I noticed in the menu here, it seems to have, you know, Fusion and Super Metroid's beam type system, I'm assuming, where you can switch. Once you've got it, you've got it, and you can just turn it on and off and stuff like that. Very fucking nice. Oh, yeah, there's some kind of, like, Intel stuff about, you know, the Metroid species, and etc. and stuff. Bit of backstory and shit. Ah, the options and stuff, you know that deal. But also some of the control improvements, like, it just... I don't know, it's got the same kind of, like, stopping time, like, when you, you jump and stuff and it stops. Like, that feels quite uh, snappy, but there's other stuff, like, been able to do that in the air. Like, fast jump fall, whatever the fuck it is. Morph ball in the air as well. Fucking miss that, man. You wouldn't think you'd miss it that much, but you kind of fucking do. That seems about... Oh, you got all the other stuff, like... Ah, yeah, like then, like mantling and other shit like that. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Diagonal shooting, yep, yeah, also pretty fucking nice. Can do, um, you just hold the direction or hold one of the triggers. I believe that's um, left button and left trigger. Very nice. Oh, you've also got the uh, the aim lock as well. Also very nice. Oh, an instant morph ball button with the right trigger. Oh, it's all very nice. And I noticed from the save points that you get your- I'm not sure if you get all your missiles back, you might do, but you get all your health back. Also fucking nice. So you're having to grind. Oh yeah, I might want to shoot through that. But just fucking nice shit all around. Really, really fucking nice. So you get the same mission. Well, obviously we've been in a Metroid 2 remake. Same mission as Metroid 2. Destroy all the fucking Metroids. Which, as I said before, is actually a decent fucking idea. Um, left? It's probably not, but fuck it, it'll be alright. He reckons there's only one- I'm assuming that's the Metroid count on the top right there. He reckons there's only one, but that's harsh shit. Well, that's what you get for fucking charging into him like that. Man, it's, it's nice with a diagonal fire, like, down and shit like that. I'm just gonna fucking wait for him. The mantle is nice as well, like, I think you can hold up. And it, it does that, but you can also jump into it for an instant mantle. Well, whatever, whatever. Didn't mean to fucking dive into the drink like that, but it's alright. Don't worry about that. Fuck, since when could this spit? Hey. 
Oh yeah, it's a um, rather than... Uh, I don't think... Sl yeah, Slick doesn't change the missiles now. It's the... Um, oh, whatever button you want to call it. It's next to jump. Not quite as fast as the Game Boy save, but it does give you all the hit points and shit back, so I'm quite happy for that. Actually feels like you've saved as well. So every other save on the Game Boy version, I didn't think it even fucking saved. It's so instant. H how am I failing? Thank you. Let's just... Chop that down to the first five minutes of the game. I'll feel better. Oh my god, it just fucking charged them. Get fucked. New log entry, apparently. Oh. I was expecting a jingle, like before. So it, it, it did sound almost adorable when he died. You see, that's a nice... I don't... I can't remember if that was in the original or not. I don't think it was. But actually seeing the lava, not the fucking purple shit, like on the, um, the colour patch I had for the original. But the... Um, the lava. I guess it's lava. I don't know if it was always meant to be lava. I guess it was... It might have never actually been um, explained what it was. But seeing the lava actually sink after doing that, like, oh, I see, so I killed the Metroid and the lava sunk. You know, made sense. It was something about a log file. Earthquakes here. The massive cave system is located between two tectonic plates, largely flooded by an extremely dense and caustic substance similar to magma. So this all makes sense. This is actually a good story. The recent earthquake has altered the cave layout and the hazardous substance has drained to lower levels. The cause of the earthquakes is unknown. Initial orbit scan of SR388 detected no instability within this region. You see, that makes sense. You know what's going off now. Uh, let's, let's, let's have a read through this. Let's have a read through this. The dominant species of SR388. This is the Metroid species. Metroids hunt for any form of energy found in natural or synthetic organisms. Ah. Leaving behind deceased husks after feeding. They are highly resistant to conventional weapons and possess great adapti uh, adaptability in foreign environments. Estimates suggest a small number of Metroids set loose on a populated planet would lead to the extinction of any present life forms. Oh, they're voracious. As such, they've drawn much attention from space pirates who have repeatedly tried to use them as biological weapons. Swines. Do we always have to go back that way? Can I just go back one screen? I'm sorry. No, I already read that one. I just, I just want to go back one. Just, oh, okay, okay, you can. Life cycle. Scans of the native Metroids reveal their most common form in prior incidents is merely the species' larval stage. While there are records of extreme mutations triggered by space pirates using abnormal stimuli, the Metroid homeworld of SR388 is seemingly the only environment where the species can naturally transform. Oh, so it is just like a normal Metroid, then it goes into like some kind of fucking... husk kind of like chrysalis and comes out as one of those other fucking little shits. Which are easier than the other Metroids. Okay. Oh, it's actually got a fucking name! It's an Alpha Metroid, apparently. The Alpha Metroid has gained immunity to cold temperatures. The loss of several nuclei within its green membrane has left it vulnerable to concussive weaponry. A plated exoskeleton partially covers it. How do you a fuck? Tell it to the rocket. This organism emerges from the molting of its larval form. Though aggressive, it is relatively weak at this stage, and its new appendages have yet to grow to their full length and strength. Don't be fucking crying just because you haven't got to your full length and strength yet, don't care. Holy shit, cool looking Chozo. The Chozo were an ancient and mysterious avian race. Incredibly advanced, they colonized many worlds, spreading their message of peace and love throughout the universe. There are historical records and legends of the Chozo visiting other races with whom they share their knowledge and wisdom. These brief encounters led many primitive cultures to their present day glory. Some say they helped consolidate the very foundations of the Galactic Federation. The fate of this race is unknown. Evidence suggests that they slowly vanished from the cosmos over the course of centuries. All that remains on each planet they inhabited are the ruins of their once glorious civilization. 
That is one badass fucking... I'm gonna teach you the ways of master martial arts looking fucking Chozo. Well, hostile native species. Not much is known about SR388's ecosystem. Prior reports describe the fauna as being very hostile. Nearly all observed animal... Yeah, nearly all observed animals have been can um, carnivores. With even the smallest species showing dangerous traits. The harsh environment and the presence of so many predators have forced an evolutionary arms race, perpetuating a cycle of violence. Extreme caution is advised. So everything's just so fucking annoyed on SR388 that it's just this constant evolutionary war of Oh, I see that you've got some nasty spikes over there. Allow me to get this really nasty fucking pincer. Oh, I see that you've got a really nasty pincer. Let me get this really hard exoskeleton. Oh, I see you've got this really hard exoskeleton. Let me just develop some kind of projectile to fucking melt through it or whatever like that. It just... Everything's getting harder, exponentially faster to compete with each other. This is, this is good fucking backstory to Metroid shit. I think this is the most story I've ever known about a Metroid game so far. I'm going right back to this mission briefing now. Extending all Metroid out here, okay. Secondary objectives locate and bring assistance to the Galactic Federation research and rescue teams. You are. Don't remember any of that. Planet SR388. Planetary designation SR388. A remote planet absent on most galactic charts. Federation research indicates it is the natural homeworld of the Metroid species. Its outer crust is hollowed out with massive cave systems which are home to an ecosystem that is yet to be fully studied. Get on that. The first expedition to SR388 revealed the existence of Chozo ruins. Earthquakes read that one before. For years, the Federation declared SR388 unsafe to initiate new expeditions. However, after the recent orbital scans, just not the orbital, you know, not the recent, just recent orbital scans failed to detect any Metroid presence on the planet's surface, the dispatch of a research vessel was finally approved. The crew's mission was to inspect the region where the species was first encountered and reaffirm that none remained. Their next objective, sorry, next objectives were to explore the nearby Chozo ruins and study SR388's other wildlife. Good luck with that. Communication was, sorry, communication with the team was cut off and only a distress signal managed to reach HQ. Oh, okay, yeah, it's different. I thought this was the same one, but it's not. She's got the same picture, I believe. Oh, fuck! Yeah, she's got the same picture, okay. The search and rescue team is an elite combat group consisting of heavily armed soldiers. Their mission? Locate and extract any surviving personnel from the missing research team. The group reported finding a specialized energy sensor at the campsite of the, of the missing team. Its data confirmed the Federation's suspicions. Metroid still thrived within the planet. These findings were sent to HQ to be analysed. While- sorry, these- <laughs> These findings were sent to HQ to be analysed while the group continued their search for survivors. Contact was soon lost with them as well. The data sent to HQ revealed an approximate number of Metroids remaining on SR388 and was ultimately used to develop a scan module for your power suit. This allows the detection of nearby energy readings unique to the species. Very good! Very good, I like all the backstory and lore and shit there. That's good shit. I can't get out of the menu though, I'm stuck. Oh, okay, yeah, press start. <laughs> One sec, dudes, be right back. There we go, right. So, the music eh, compared to before. This map eh, compared to before, but yeah, the music compared to before already, just on the intro bits. Solid. Certainly best the beeps and the boops from before. I mean, some bits in the original had, like, actual music, and other bits were just, like, say, beeps and boops, like, absolutely nothing to it. Serviceable, but only just, only just, whereas this is pretty nice so far. I mean, there's only been, like, the intro tunes in this first area as well, so... I'm looking forward to seeing what other tunage it has to offer. Man, if, if the spider ball controls make as much sense as what all the other controls do, I'm going to be very fucking happy. Yeah, I went left, didn't I? So, yeah, we got right. Well, 
I'm here, so why not? Think of the option to save. I like my games with manners. Would you like to save? Yes or no? Space owls. Get fucked. Oh, they look a bit different. I remember them, like the, um, the weird fancy fish. Well, it turns out they're not really that fancy of a fish. It's more the haircut that's fancy. Fancy haircut fish. And they're not actually meant to be bats or anything. It's kind of like some spawning egg. Much easier to see what's actually what. Hey, like I said, the, the Game Boy one looked alright, considering, you know, it's a Game Boy game. It looked alright. But it is nice to see them all, like, fleshed out. Does it not show you the Metro account from the beginning of the game anymore? That's saying zero, which... You know, you, you don't have to have played the first game to realise, you know... There's, there's gonna be more than zero Metroids left in the rest of the fucking game. No, uh, you press the right button every game we do. Press the right button. That's a very Robocop arcade animation, is that? Looks fucking just like it. I, thought, oh, I did it fucking four energy patterns. Oh, Metroid, okay. I see in the top right there. Fucking pancakes. And they... Did I just... It just pancaked its way to somewhere different. They couldn't do that before. And these things don't look like platforms anymore. They kind of look like... Samus' ship or a helmet or something like that. But at least they don't look, look, don't, they look like fucking platforms before. So much life lost. So much low hit point sound as a result of trying to jump on them. They do not look like platforms anymore. What the fuck? They almost look like a deliberate run off the fucking platform then straight into fucking lava. It was not deliberate. Oh! Complete change of scenery, huh? Didn't miss out, did I? Ah, the um, transition area with the lava, but... I'm not triggering an earthquake yet. Man, plenty generous with the save so far. Oh, I see. No, don't try Contra fucking through the platform. That's not gonna work. So we need morph ball bombs. I did some kind of like mad extra jump in there, you know, that does that thing, but also while shooting. Look quite badass. They look about the same, don't they? About the same. And if, uh, it, it's a spiky ball, you know, what, what, what are you going to do? There's not much room for interpretation there. It, it's a spiky pulsating ball. Man, that's just... It, it's because the field of view is, like, expanded out as well, like, you know, the play area. Just easier to see more of what's on screen. I mean, I remember that area. Oh, got the new um, log entry. But yeah, I remember that area. Just sort of just going through uh, the pipes and the shit that comes out of it. And you can only see one pipe on screen at once. Maybe just about a catch two. Much improved. This temple stands at the base of a hollow mountain. The statues carve stones and its solid design attest to... Sorry, attest that the structure was built to be a sanctuary, possibly with religious significance. The Templars withstood the test of time, showing the building knowledge and experience of the Chozo. Scans detect the presence of stationary robotic entities placed at strategic points inside the structure. No control signals are detected. These units are operating autonomously. Well, that'd be great. Fucking Chozo sentry guns, basically. 
Didn't miss anything else there, I don't think. Nah. Key bats! They actually look like them as well. Man, they... They're not like they're hard to hit, but they're harder to hit. Man, save points out of the ass. He was quick off the draw, I'll give him that. Fast as fuck. Look at that block over there, don't stare at me, you motherfucker. There's one staring right at me. I thought they were blocked there. Well, they've got more game than what they had before. They were pretty much free. Ah, man. Directional shit. Good stuff. Um, ex ex excuse me. Oh, okay, right. Just one. Just one rocket. Do, 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 do. That's a very triumphant sound in pickup fucking tune. Very triumphant sounding. Oh, there's... Yep. There we go. Sorry, I said start song. Oh, oh, well. I missed it. Was it a missile capacity increase? I suspect so. Oh, wait. The invisible blocks hurt me anymore? They do not. Thank you. I did not agree with that mechanic. What the fuck? They're so quick. Man, they're really quick. They have a nice explosion on them as well, like... Bits of metal and stone and plate and shit like that. A bit of everything, I don't know. What? Just sounds... Uh, just sounds good. Here you are. I got up there a second ago. Thank you. So they need to go to the right? I could do. Oh, it's nice. I mean, I didn't save much time there, like, going into the morph ball from the jump, but it's still fucking nice. Rocket? Push? Hmm. Alright. A big fucking circle on the map and shit. Run, 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 run! Oh, it wouldn't have got me anywhere. I remember this area. From what I gather, it's not like an identical replica. There'll be areas that are very, very similar, and there'll be areas that are very, very different, and everything in between. I mean, already this is like... You know, you could tell like the other place was the outside, both on the original and in the remake here. But this is like straight up Chozo ruins and shit, like... Well, that guy wasn't shooting him, I don't know why. But yeah, you... Much more distinct. Both the music and the backgrounds and just the area itself. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Charge beam. Man, they are riding the backs of fucking purple dinosaurs and shit. Charge beam! I just fucking said it right, like, casual there, but... You didn't have a charge in Metro 2, did you? Good. I mean, as in, like, it's, it's nice to have a charge, why not? Ooh. Really? I mean, don't abuse it, like, but... I abused it, didn't I? Abused the fuck out of it, there's no need. See, that's a way less annoying low hit point sound. That's nowhere near as gritting. And I think it kicked in... Did it kick in lower as well? 
That's that was much quieter and far less abrasive. It must. It, oh, I want it. Oh, oh, don't you dare expire. Fuck sake, that guy, man. This guy. You know, we should have killed him first, shouldn't you, Liam? It's like, well, I, I didn't think of that at the time. He can charge it while fucking holding as well. That is nice. Solid. The extra control options are just fucking sweet, man. There's a Metroid somewhere in here. You what? All right. Oh, that's cool as fuck. You couldn't do that in later, like Fusion or Zero, could you? Oh, could you? I can't remember, but while charging, going to a morph ball. That is quite cool. In fact, that's really fucking cool. Charging fucking. Mothball bombs. Whee! Nice. Spider ball already. Press L1 or L2 in Mothball to climb walls. Ah, so it's not like you've got to like go into Mothball and then press down again. Once you're in fucking Mothball. It's just any uh, shoulder buttons, left shoulder buttons. I see. Can you do it? Oh, you can place bombs and shit as well now. Oh, you can do that. I was just curious. Right, okay. I just want to check out over there. I mean, the spider ball might just be of the same as it did before. Like, it was fucking a bit wacky to begin with, but... I kind of got used to it near the, um, the end of the HDSF. And this seems to be behaving the same. Like, as a test here, like, it's up and down. Whereas if you get onto that, it's left and right. Like I say, that so much wasn't the problem. It was, um, it kind of was the problem to begin with, then I got used to that, but that, it, that wasn't it. It's like when you get on a corner like that, and you, it's like, well, none of it really fucking works the way that you want. See, left and right will do it there. And then up and down, it, I think that's just more obvious which side you're on. Yeah. I don't know, we shall see, we shall see. <laughs> But I think it behaves about the same, which to be fair isn't too much of a fucking problem once you get used to it, or like even then, like it, it's not a problem. It's when you get stuck on weird diagonals and you're trying to figure out like I'm a, I'm a forward, I'm a back, and stuff like that, and it was weird at times. Wait a minute, wasn't there meant to be a Metroid somewhere around here? There's a husk. Ah, might want to use the power up I just got. You know, bang on about it, and then we're gonna fucking use it. But yeah, even stuff like that, you'd get there on, the, like, say, the Game Boy version, something like that, and you're like, well, I can't do anything. But you see, with this, let me just... Every time I get remotely, like, whatever, and then I do a 360 on the pad, it at least moves in a direction, you know? You, it never feels like you've got... Cause I can't even explain now what it was exactly in the, um, the original that would get me sometimes. But I swear down, sometimes I do a 360 on the pad and still get zero movement, where every single time I've tried it here, it always at least goes in some direction, so I don't feel like, well, where's my controller? You know, like, at least move in some direction. Don't matter which direction, forward or back, just move in a direction. And sometimes I just freeze on the fucking spot. But that doesn't seem to be doing it here. I couldn't tell you what the exact difference is. Oh, there, there it is. Fucking spikes and shit everywhere. Oh my god. No, no. Oh my god. Oh, 
I got the old death animation as well. To a fucking, what was it? An alpha Metroid. Get the fuck out. Right. No more of that. I don't think I died to an alpha Metroid like that in the fucking original. The piss. Did I, did I seriously roll in there with follow points? Well, I mean, I just dived into the fucking spike pit. Like, is that the boss? Because I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to fucking twat it. I'm going to jump in there. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, and they hurt like fuck as well. God. Little fuck, man. I mean, I don't remember that on the original, so that was a better fucking fight. Like, the fucker got me at first time. That is fucking nice, man. Rather than to grind out me at points and stuff like that. Suffer a fucking... <laughs> suffer! A low hit point sound. But nope. Straight down, let it save. Fully replenished. Very nice. Out of curiosity. No, I managed it. There we go. See, like then, I was pressing the wrong direction to begin with, so I pressed the other direction and started moving instantly. That's what I'm saying, like, there's something slightly different about it. It's behaving the same here, you know, like up and down, not left and right stuff like that. It's behaving the same like that. But it's something about when you're in a weird position. And at least if you do a 360 in the pad, you're gonna move in some direction where sometimes, I swear to god, was not moving before. Um, that was kinda daft. In fact, some would say that was very fucking daft. Might have been yakking on, but still. Right into the motherfucker. Right, let's try this again. Oh, I was on it then. There we go. But you gotta trigger it as you're approaching, like, the surface, you know, like, you become sticky and then you stick. Don't hit it and then try to stick. Not sure. Something like that. Right, let's not get fucking knocked off the ceiling by this motherfucker. Okay, right. It's in a pretty simple fucking rotation. Yeah, that's fine. What's this guy? How far is he gonna go out? Okay, we've got plenty of time. We'll get over there. Might wanna wait a sec. <sighs> Tight. You know, that's fine. That's fine. It's only missile capacity, but it's alright. Yeah, it didn't even give you the fucking tune for bloody missile tanks. It's like, you know what you got. It's fine. It's not a power up. It's just a missile capacity increase. Calm down. It's making me go on a right fucking journey here. It better be a fucking energy tank or something up here. Where the fuck am I on the map? Oh, 8%. And a timer as well. 8%, is that saying the completion? I assume so. Also quite nice. Oh, there's 45 Metroids, and I've killed three? Oh, there's three in this area? And I'm not sure. Is that saying the number I've killed? Is that why it was zero? We shall see. Man, this is a big fucking room. I, d I do remember this room. Was it like up there, just where I've just like the ceiling where I've just come from? Was that where fucking David said like, oh, you gotta clear this and clear this while struggling with the spider ball and clear this and clear this and there's nothing for you. I like how they got rid of that. There were a few areas in the original and you just like... Oh, bear with me, by the way. I'm going to go back to the middle room and drop down to the template, but... But I do remember this room and there were a few bits, not just this room actually, but the entire fucking game where there was nothing there. You would clear to it and there's nothing there. And you're just like, why? Why did you make me do all that and go all that distance for no... Right. 
Right, let's try about... Eh. We'll go to this next block on the map. Here we go. And we'll drop somewhere about here. Hello. Have I still got missiles on? I'm alright. 75 bit points and shit. Oh, just shoot through here. Fair enough. <laughs> I want that. How would one go about getting that? Hmm. Made out of the same stuff that I saw before, like. Don't seem to be able to shoot it or bomb it yet. God damn! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I just linked around to here. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see that I'm getting fucked by that fucking sentry, man. Hmm. So the dots are saying a power-up that I've gotten and the circles are saying a power-up I haven't? Mayhaps. See if there's anything up here. The, the fucking zoomed into me. You think you know a fucking pancake monster and suddenly the fucker just drops on your head? Look at this guy. Is there any way to tell the difference of the fucking species, or they just all do it randomly? They're improved on what they were before. Okay, so it's just that. And I want to be going... where? Oh, I didn't have morph balls bombs I wrote before, so maybe... Maybe back? I got the charge beam over here, I don't know, which should be using more. Got the charge beam and the morph ball bombs. You what? How the fuck did I not win that fight? Fuck! Oh my god! Oh, there was a save. It's alright, I'm going to a save anyway. Face the maneuvers! What? Okay, pipe. Nothing. Oh, okay, there's one there then. Whatever. Oh! It's alright, it's alright. Have curiosity. Yep. Missiles as well. There we go, get fucked. How much damage do you want to take, sir? I remember this bit as well with the key bats. In fact, yeah, there was a shortcut. I don't need that, do I? I can just do that. God damn, you're faster away at the um, spider ball one. Yeah, I do remember that bit. Scanning environment here. Breeding grounds. This area spans a custom built ecosystem that favors the growth of Metroids. The terrain itself is dangerous. Tendrils growing along the ground release extremely corrosive chemicals. Opportunistic predators and scavengers can recognize this as an ideal feeding ground. Taking advantage of injured or dead animals. The presence of at least one Metroid is expected when venturing in these habitats. The tendrils are determined to be of artificial origin, synthesized through technologically advanced methods. They absorb nutrients from dead matter. Well, like me!
It better not be a Metroid in here, man. Not much. Well, there's plenty of room to fight, but. You little shits! You little fucks now! Look what you done, you put me in there! You fucking dick! I bet he had one hit left on him. One fucking hit. It's not hard, isn't it? Or if that's why- I'm thinking like, don't like, take five hits and stuff like that. It must be because they're fucking hard. I'm taking more damage and shit like that. I completely forgot if it's like on hard. You know, I, I didn't die to the other one before and stuff like that. What's the deal with that? I was like, yeah man, because it, it's on fucking hard, so you know, it's probably harder. At the very least. Okay, okay, I, I, I've remembered now. There we go. Where are you little fucking shit stain? Oh my god, oh, fuck me! Oh no. Man, I need to develop a fucking strategy of getting underneath the fuckers. They're actually fucking hard now, are the alphas? Oh my god, what's the, like, the alphas were free before. Like, they paid me. Now they, they, they've actually got some kind of game. I mean, I clearly need a strategy on them, but... They're back for fucking revenge. They ain't pissing around like they were before. Fuck, unlike me. I didn't manage to take much damage from that though, okay. Ring little shit fuck. Oh god damn. They tend to overshoot you a bit, don't they? Except when they do a fucking charge like that. Oh, you fucking little fuck. So slippery. Let me, let me just um, get up on here and uh, over your head and let me just get up in your shit and I'm, I'm just gonna charge you now. It's like, why are you being such a fucking tool? I'll give him credit though. Like I say, compared to the alphas before, like these ones got a fucking game. They actually move around and they ain't fucking free. You can't even shoot them in the face anymore. Like they're actually fucking armored. They follow so easy. But now that you gotta get them from underneath. I'm gonna charge him, but it You fucking! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Best fucking. <laughs> Best, um. Elevate the game plan a bit. I mean, I'm not saying let's put on the Dark Souls face, but, you know, like. Clearly, an air game is required. Right, no worries, no worries. You see, I thought I was just being shit. And now, to be fair, that's probably correct. But at the same fucking time, like... It needs fucking doing. God damn him! Oh! Good fight, little alpha. Good fucking fight, fella. Holy shit. I'm not sure if I've exploded into any goodies or not this time, but they're in the roof if they are. Well played, you little shit. Oh, fuck me. Oh, really? Now... <laughs> I'm approaching them like there's some of the fucking later Metroids now. I'm actually worried about them. 
No! No, 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 fuck! <laughs> oh my... Look on the left side! It's on the fucking left side, dude! I didn't think it was... I didn't think it was right. As if an alpha has ejected me to the fucking save point. Just two alphas in a row. Good shit, good shit. Making me fucking sit up there. <laughs> right, here we go. Develop that fucking game first now. It's fucking needed almost. The fuck it like these ain't fucking about. They mean business. They've got way better movement and they take more hits and the areas you fight them in are harsher. This fuck. Fucking hell, man. Holy shit. Oh no, it is the Metroid count in the area, it seems, because it's down to two now rather than three. Fucking hell. It's almost fucking weird playing a Metroid game with a bit of difficulty out of the gate. I mean, I wouldn't say the Metroid games were easy, but I wouldn't say they were hard either, like... This fucker is not playing about, I mean, like I say, it's sound hard, but that... Still, I am surprised. That'll fucking trigger him. It's a... You can't just fight him like that. You can't just fight them like that, you, they do so much more damage. <laughs> I mean, it seems like we've had their, um, as a guess, I would say I'm taking more damage and they're taking more, like, when I get hit, it hurts more and they take more hits to get down and shit, so they have higher hit points and I take more damage. So shit is not fucking about me. And that was like fully points and what? It, it touched me three, four times? It is not playing. Oh! Fuck no! Oh my god, it's so quick! It's... Uh, I don't know, like... I felt, you know, that, that shows you man, I felt safer taking constant damage from the green shit than what I did fighting the fucking Metroid. Okay, right, fine, fuck. You know, there's only fucking like 30 of those motherfuckers. Plus the rest. What are the Bowser Troids gonna be like? What are the Wasp Troids gonna be like? Fuck me. <laughs> Good ledge grab, Samus. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm actually just gonna fucking shoot it and run. Oh. Well, I don't know about that in the end. Oh my god. You're in such a shithole! It's a really fucking nasty place to fight a Metroid in, like... He has loads of gaps and fucking damage and shit below you and like, you know... Eat a dick. I ain't, I ain't even done anything. I ain't even done anything at this fucking game. And within less than an hour it's having you fight fucking these superior fucking Metroids. In a pile of shit. Barely any platform, fucking the green fucking vine form shit going all over the fucking place. 
You're out official. Don't take it out on me. Man, I got you that time, didn't you? Fuck. Oh. Oh. It, it's, it's not working, man. Oh. Oh my god. Fuck. I need to. Uh, right. Right. Okay. I need. I need a fucking strategy. I need one. Because going in there and saying fuck it is not working out well. It's weird that. So plan A and B. Because that's, that's what it is for me. It's, it's both plan A and B. Plan C revolves around returning to plan A and B just to make sure that it, it, did, it definitely didn't work. And yeah, okay. So jumping them and just finding the right opportunities maybe like... You gotta almost like take these like they're a fucking boss. Like, these are barely worse than a regular enemy. But now... They got fucking... They got teeth, man. They're fucking nasty. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, it can just dive all it wants. It's this wibbly wobbly fucking up and down pattern. Oh, up and down. Up and up. It's so fucking random. I mean... You won't find a bigger advocate of random than me, but... Oh, fucking... Jesus. I'm a charger, you know, I'm a charger over here. I'm a up, I'm a down, I'm a coming around. It's like... Is that what it's like? So that's what the game's usually fucking like with me, isn't it? Like, well, I don't even fucking know what you're doing, man. You know, this fucking random shit. Now you know what it fucking feels like. Look, that went right in his fucking face. Yeah. Oh, you're a dick. That gets me every time. He thinks about shit. I don't. Fuck, I'm just getting. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just getting fucked. Fucked. I... I don't fucking know. I... I, I don't fucking know, man. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. My ass is starting to sting. I know that much. There's a Metroid ship shoe print. Right fucking on it. And Metroids don't even wear shoes. But I can fucking feel it. Oh shit, I didn't get hit at the beginning. Look and think about it. He fucking figured it out. I thought I'd got him there, like, kind of, like, looping from left to right on the edge of the ledges and shit. I thought I'd got him fucking trapped. I'm like, I like this fucking loop, it's alright. He fucking thought about it, I could see him fucking working it out. He may as well just got out a whiteboard and started fucking drawing me a diagram, like, well, if I go over here and I go over here, it's not working, but if I just stop in the middle and then come down your edge, you're dead. It's like, how did you have time to figure that out and draw the diagram? You even fucking dictated it, man, like... That's how- that- I- I'm free to this guy now. When did I become free to the fucking Metroids? Fucking right. That's let off really nice as well. I thought I had some control over it though. Was handling that metro like a true bounty hunter. And then, um. Then I wasn't. I was handling it like a true fuck up. Let me up, let me up. Yeah. I should not have had to spider ball in like this this many times. And things after kill this next one. I've got to fucking save again. I'm going to come back out here. And everyone's just going to fucking kick my ass then. I need strats. 
I, I don't know how that did it, but Doom technology was in effect there. Like, if you don't touch it for long enough, you don't take damage. I appreciate that. Ah! Uh -huh. I do notice there's never so nice splash damage on the, um... The missiles. I can't... Get fucked! He's like, you need to fucking calm down, mate. I just killed you like ten times in a fucking row. And you know, he won't be wrong. <laughs> very, very... Excuse me. Very, very nasty AI on those motherfuckers now. Relentless. I buy that. That's a fucking Metroid. The way that that fucking thing flies at you. <gasps> no, it's okay. I'm, I'm not that low on hit points. I had visions of running out there, falling into the green shit, and dying. And having to redo it. Well, I was up for a Metroid fucking challenge, and it's only, what, less than an hour in. And I can feel it. It's there. Fair enough. Metroid hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, we'll see. Oh, I fucking see. I fucking see it now. <laughs> I believe. Good fucking shit, man. Whoop. So nicely done, though. The backgrounds and the spriting. The tunage is really fucking nice in the background. I, I would have commented it more, but... It's so right, it's hard to actually notice it almost, you know? When music in a game's done that well where it is fantastic, but you just don't notice it because it's just so blended in with everything else. Very, very good. Digging the ad mode as well. Putting the shits right on me with these fucking Metroids, but you know. Well, I thought I might have got you there, mate. Look at him! I fucking did! <laughs> He's so smart. He is so fucking clever. You think you've got them like, ah, I see. You're not going to come over here like this as long as stay and shit like that. And they fucking figured it out, man. Like, even the AI has taken serious improvements. For the better. That is some good shit with the alphas. Very, very good. I can only imagine what the others are like. Sometimes I seem a bit like split it like right underneath the motherfucker. He'll figure it out. There's no point stay look at that. Nice. Who's good is that, bro? No quick. Oh, you gotta scroll it. So where's that lowered? That over there? Maybe. I'd have almost liked a little cutscene there so you can see where it's lowering, but... I guess there may be complaints about that, because it's always telling you where to go in it. It's like, well, I guess, but for me it's more like just showing something else is that, like... There's other things in the world still going off while you're over here in this fucking corner of it and stuff. There's still other shit going down, you know? Like security cameras in games and shit, you've heard me banging about them before. I dig that shit, you know it. Makes the game world feel alive. Not like it just pauses when you leave the screen and shit. Which it entirely does, by the way. Spoiler. You- What? What? What the fuck? Ancient Guardian! This sentry deploys- what, some fucking random sentry trap? This wasn't here before. Sentry deploys spiked barriers and corners targets into its firing range. Its archaic design constraints it, um, constra constraints it, uh, 
to operate at low power, preventing simultaneous use of its shield and mobility systems. Its arsenal consists of energy weapons with unique patterns. The robot was calibrated to detect foreign creatures bearing stolen equipment. Recent earthquakes seem to have damaged the traction of the unit and spiked barriers. Despite these complications, it remains a considerable threat. Do what? What the fuck? <laughs> 